physicality is so good. Like if you listen to him on his screen, mm -hmm. same. Like that drill, yeah. Drill is gonna be like huge in this matchup, and like forcing Luigi to chase you in the air and then cross up like back air. Again. Yeah, I, I feel like the the name of the game in this matchup versus Luigi is if he's on the ground, like stuff his wave dash, and if he's in the air, back air and up tilt kind of kind of just beat everything he does. He's got terrible aerial drift too, so avoiding hits like that, ooh, immediately takes it. Whereas if you're Luigi, you're gonna try to not telegraph all of these things, <laughs> right? Because his approach is pretty linear. He's gonna be slipping and sliding into you. So you gotta, oh, good idea. That was such a clean cleanup. Like that was that was a huge cleanup. Yeah, he the, started, uh, an immediate answer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I like that. I like that up air. Another up air, but he has to go it. Nice. Now he's gonna back air. Yeah, he's at a percent where he'll get knocked down. So this is good. You can back air, like full out air more safely. But mm -hmm. I, I, I still like this. Like. He's gonna jump shine, yeah, he doesn't risk it. Ooh, that crouch cancel versus a down smash, that's just punishable on hit for Luigi. I know, right? <laughs> oh wow, he nares into the corner, dude. We all do it. All of us Fox Mings do it, and I don't know why. Oh, it's no. bad. Kinda scared him. A lot of threatening movement there made him uh, want to air dodge on the stage but miss the angle. Both of these two internet should be, their connection should be fine, because if California to Texas and they both have really good internet, or to, Texas, to Mexico. Uh, yeah, and it's not just like deep in Mexico. I'm pretty sure he lives like Baja, California, right next to San Diego. If I'm, if oh, I'm really? Mistaken. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he used to go to every Super Smash Sundays. Now yeah, that I think yeah. About it. Yeah. Which is coming back. Yeah. Wow. I'm Mexico. pretty sure he's from Tijuana. Someone in chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like right next to San Diego. Oh, wow. Dude, Espat's playing center so well. Mm -hmm. He's gonna... Oh, wait. Does he have invisible ceiling? No, right? Invisible ceiling? What about it? He, he up smashed his shield. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know like how invisible ceiling works exactly. I've been screwed over by it many times. But... Yeah, so it, it has to do with the variable, how the, like, the friction of a character. That's why Luigi triggers it all the time. Slippery characters apparently do it more often. But if you counter hit a move that hits your shield, you can trigger it. And it's also side of the stage dependent. Uh, there, there are a lot of specifics that I'm leaving. Oh, that tech was amazing. Wow. Up there? Oh, he doesn't even go for it. Yeah, he was going to get reversal in the air for sure. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Where's what's he, he going? doing? He wants to get to ledge, I guess? Yeah, I think, wow. I think he's just lucky he didn't misfire off the stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he would have been dead. Nice laser land, I like it. All right. It's a little stuck in his movement, but it doesn't matter. I like, yeah, yeah that, that's the backer I was talking about, uh, where you make him, force him to chase you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I love the that S Fat's going for a lot of bears because there's no like real direct punish, but it's just being a both box of Luigi is just horrible. Oh, yeah. all right, he could still he could still get something uh, a little cheesy right here. All right, yeah, nice. Oh, this dash dancing, that full hop was so good. That was that's like a uh, yeah, nice. This is full hop, and then you wait, and you observe what your opponent is doing, and you decide on your drift. Like you you you. Decide what you're where where you're gonna drift like in or out depending on what they're doing. And Espat would notice that he just stood still and didn't move at all, so he just empty land nared. Uh, mm -hmm. re reaction full hopping is like the new wave. And if you're not doing it as a fox, it's, it's you, you you gotta do it, bro. Yeah, it's too it's good. The, it's what the, it's all the kids are doing nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's just too good. I mean, like you can literally full hop, observe your opponent, and it's like. You can see, like, you can just create space or retreat to a platform or to the ground. It's insane. Yeah. So, Eddie doing a lot of full hop reads, but like you said, if he's reacting with the full hop, then you can't really read his drift and hit him with that. You know? Especially, yeah, especially since Luigi is way, is way slower in the air than Fox, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Oh, but he's gonna clean that one up. <laughs> that was weird behind that up smash. He tied off the side with a reverse up smash. Yeah. Or, uh, sorry, up smash. Nice slide up to the to ledge. You always want to get that. I'm telling you, it's punchable on hit. <laughs> it's a bad down smash. The shine was... combos into itself, otherwise it'd just be terrible. I know. The shine was such a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, it, it, it reversed. <laughs> Edge guarding in this matchup is Fox. It's like, 
It feels so good. If you get Luigi low. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And sometimes I, I switch to Fox on and Rank versus Luigi just so I can get like the cheesy edge guards. It's, yeah. it's like, if you know their flow chart and they're not good at mixing it up, it really is just a free shine spike. Dude, the shine spike. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Like you legitimately get to gimp Luigi like super hard. Like you have, like he has to hit every single DI to ledge off shine. If he misses one, he's probably dead. Nice. That's that's corner pressure is insane. Yeah, that's not like if you watch like the majority of the time he's in center. Yeah, he doesn't get to the legend time. Wow, he up these legends. Just throwing whatever he wants out there at this point. Ooh, I love this shield. Like, look, like, he's he's occupying the platform, so if, if he jumps, he can, like, back air him, and if he doesn't jump, he can just hold stage. And if you do the low back air on a shield in the corner, you still have enough pressure to where he can't punish you. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, like, just, like, really, really good play. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if he can get a good opening. Yeah, see how... As far as, uh, being careful about how he counter hits Luigi, because I don't think he wants a... wants a... invisible ceiling glitch. Like, if he... if he... like, up smash out of shield, for example, that would have triggered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a local, uh, player, Jagged Cole, actually labbed it out because I lost a set to the invisible ceiling against Stooge one time. He labbed out what you can do, and actually, Luigi is in enough stun after you up smash out of shield, you can fall in up air and hit him. Like, and it'll be true. Because of how, like, long he's in knockdown and, like, how hard it is to tag. It's actually really interesting. But, I mean, like, that's a very minuscule, like, you know, minor scramble situation that's not going to happen that often, so... Mm -hmm. Nice ledge dash, clean. Yeah, and he waits in the corner. He doesn't run straight into him. Yeah, he, he waits for Eddie to throw out whatever his corner pressure move is and then runs in and punishes him for it. Yeah, that's what usually creates a bad matchup, a character that can react to everything or just a character yeah. that can't. They have the, the luxury of picking and choosing their battles, whereas like Luigi kind of has to just take what he can get. Yeah. That's why pressure is just so good. Like, just his movement. You oh. know, he, he kind of reminds me, I mean, obviously, like, like, Poppy kind of reminds me of Esfet, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Our, our, one of our local Fox players. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just pokes at you with movement, like, and is, like, really, like, Yeah. Sneaky. Like, you know? in the first game, uh, Eddie lost a stock entirely because Esfet had really threatening movement at the edge and, like, made him panic air dodge. So, yeah, yeah I can see I can see that, the parallels. They, they just have really threatening movement. Exactly. Like, not even necessarily aggressive as it is just very threatening, and they're making you, like, choose an option. Because, in my opinion, like, when you're playing melee, like, even doing nothing is like doing something when your opponent is observing you, you know? Like, yeah. It's, yeah that's, that's how I like to view it, like, with a wave dash down and, like, waiting, like, waiting for your opponent to do something nice. Just holds down on there. Ooh, good side beat. Uh, oh, he tried to double shot and get him off stage early. Like yeah, but it, it sent him back to the center. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, he rolled He right forced out. him to roll, but didn't react to it. We've all been there. How many times have we forced out a roll and then we just, like, don't even, like, actually punish it? You know, we just, like, do. Sometimes you're, you're trying to bait something out and you really don't even expect to really get it. And you're just like, no, that's the thing I wanted. Why didn't I, yeah, exactly. why didn't I hit it? <laughs> exactly. Or you're, like, only focused on what they're doing and not what you're going to punish it with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was learning to play against Falco, that was a big thing. It was like, I'd, I'd bait out the rolls and I was like, how do I punish it? Now I'm just getting rolled time. <laughs> yeah. It's a rough, rough mm -hmm. Nice up tilt. It's back air. I'm gonna go for up air. He loses that situation. Oh, he didn't have the tornado charged. Oh no, that was a weird reversal of that Luigi missile. Oh, nope, he did not want the slow get up. That's right, kind of being brave right there, not respecting uh, Eddie Mexico's uh, ledge dash. Luigi's ledge dash is actually insanely good because of how far he can go invincibly. All right, nice up smash. Oh, uh, yeah, forward air, shoots him off. Dude, Luigi's just, his friction, he just gets pushed off flat so hard, you know? Mm -hmm. And since his aerial mobility is so bad, when he gets hit in the air, it's like, he, it's just so bad for him, you know? Like, you can just cross him up with back air, and it's like, he's just, like, 
a sitting duck. Yeah, you can you can just like switch sides on him and he can't follow you. Or if things get dicey, you can just drift away and there's nothing he can do to follow. Yeah. As as fat is also like one of the best foxes in the world at literally just not overcomplicating it. And like that is like how most foxes lose this matchup. Nice mm -hmm. shine grab. Like look at that. That's just I love it. I love all Ooh. of this. Yep. Another instance where he he jumped over and over, made it look like he was going to do an aerial, made, made it look like he was going to jump out and shine or jump out and back air, and then once Eddie threw out a preemptive aerial, he ran underneath and up smashed him. Just another way of that that stock came about because of his movement before the move. Yeah. Oh wow, dude. Yeah. Once he's in the air, look at that man. I think that was something that like I'm talking about. Wow, spot touches the yeah. Wow, he spot dodges again. Any down smashes again. If, if your down smashes aren't hitting, you're not down smashing hard enough. Just keep trying. <laughs> GG's, GG's, good set. Yep. That's like, if you guys ever want to study Fox, Luigi, that is a good set to study. That was like really...